So from the early morning, from 1 o'clock a.m. until 4.30 a.m. Um, in Tarzana in Los Angeles, there was a very loud sound coming from the sky that sounded like a didgeridoo. I heard it and I woke up from a pretty crazy dream and went into my friend's room and they were awake listening to it. So we walked outside and followed the sound and it kept going and going and going. We finally went to sleep and at 3.30 I woke up and I heard it again but with a, a loud trumpet sound next to it, like a ringing trumpet and this went on for another hour. So from 1 a.m. until 4 a.m. March 2nd, um, this sound came from the sky. I'm wondering if anyone else heard anything like this. You guys hear that in the sky? You hear that? It's over there, and then it's over there, and over there, it's weird. We're in Toronto, Canada, and there's this weird sound in the sky. You hear that? I know what that is. I think everybody else who reports. It sounds close and it sounds far. It's happening again. I don't see anything. What is it? brothers and sisters. Today, we delve into a fascinating topic that has intrigued people around the globe for years. The mysterious sounds emanating from the sky. Countless videos and reports have captured these enigmatic occurrences, leaving us with questions about their origins and significance. Some strange noises heard around the world the last few weeks has uh, people buzzing, especially on YouTube. Clips posted from Arizona to England and right next door in Manitoba, all showing folks alarmed by what sounds like a noise straight out of a science fiction Investigators flick. Investigators are trying to solve a bizarre mystery in flight. Curiosity videos of what appears to be the same strange noise popping up from all over the world online. And as CGB thinks that Leah Bolton explains, it's not just videos from the other side of the globe. There is also one from right here in Dawson Creek. Well, YouTube videos from places all over the world has got people talking about the strange moaning noise that was supposedly in the sky. While numerous theories have emerged to explain these phenomena, I am personally convinced that they serve as profound reminders of a greater event yet to come. I believe these sounds are a symbolic foreshadowing of the future, signalling the imminent return of the King of Kings, Jesus Christ. As we explore this captivating subject, it's crucial to recognise that these occurrences are not merely random or coincidental. They carry a profound message reminding us of the truth proclaimed in the scriptures. 
In the book of 1 Corinthians, we find a reference to the last trumpet sounding, heralding Christ's return for his people. 1 Corinthians 15, 52. In a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. Ellsworth, Ohio. You guys ever heard of the trumpets in the sky? Yeah, the sound where the people, sound. they don't know where that sound is coming from, dude. Yeah. Isn't that called like the seven trumpets of the apocalypse yeah, yeah. or something like that? But it, it happens quite often and yeah. no one just, no one knows where it comes from. The sounds from the heavens, as mysterious as they may be, are like a trumpet call, reminding us that Jesus will one day come again to gather his beloved followers. It serves as a solemn warning to a world that may have turned a blind eye to the gospel message. It's intriguing to note that while some individuals may treat these sounds as mere trends or viral sensations on platforms like TikTok or YouTube, we must recognize the deeper significance they carry. These sounds serve as a testimony and undeniable evidence that God has been sending warnings and reminders to the world, urging us to turn away from sin and embrace the gift of salvation found in Jesus Christ. What I was hearing was what I experienced as a possibly a scraping. Mike Halstead was lying in bed when his phone rang. Calls and text messages came in from his friends saying they too had similar experiences. That's when the goosebumps got me and I, I kind of thought, yeah, it's awfully strange. Hey, 93.3 The Rock. The next day, the local radio station The Rock got flooded with over 40 calls and Facebook messages, each person wanting to know what that sound was last night. I don't think I've ever had a response that big about something. And it's interesting, right? Human nature, people just want to know what the sounds are. It's now days later and the city is still abuzz with talk about the sounds. Everybody with their own guess, estimation or explanation as to where they came from. I've heard that Jesus is coming back. Now that you've watched this video and possibly even heard these sounds firsthand, I invite you to contemplate the state of your own relationship with Jesus. Have you made him the Lord of your life? If not, I extend a heartfelt invitation to do so today. John 3:16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have the eternal life. Jesus came into this world not to condemn us but to save us. His love and sacrifice on the cross offer redemption and eternal life to all who believe in him. Don't let these signs pass by without recognizing the urgency of embracing the gift of salvation. In conclusion, let us remember that the mysterious sounds from the heavens serve as a prophetic reminder of Christ's imminent return. They are a call to prepare our hearts, seek forgiveness for our sins and wholeheartedly surrender to Jesus as our Lord and Saviour.